and uh, we're gonna do a quick video here folks this is for the Sega Dreamcast I'm just holding my phone I'm not gonna use the pod or anything so I just did the install and here you can see um, there's a, the, a button here this is supposed to be the reset button and you can see how it's set up so the reason why I'm taking this video is because um, I had to use trial and error to put this thing together it was it was sort of difficult I had to do it maybe three times and unscrew everything but this is how it works um, there's many tutorials online that show three uh, people that have 3d printers this thing doesn't even have that now I haven't tested the, th the thing yet but this isn't moving around the only thing is it's like this plastic thing is right on top of the this part right here it's right on top of the board it's just resting right on top of it um, so I mean I suppose I could loosen the screws a little bit and but then it would then it would just be loose so it's 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 tight now and what I did is there's this white spacer that came with it so the white spacer goes there once you remove your um, drive and everything oh well you can see there's dirt in in, in these control uh, controller dongles I'm gonna have to clean that so I'm glad I uh, found that. But anyway, once you remove the the, um, the disk drive, there's one screw there. There's a spacer that came with it. So the spacer and the screw there is able to balance it out. So so when you insert the board into where it connects here into the connector, so it's it, it's balanced out and the screw balances it out on the, on the other side with the spacer. So that makes sense to me, and that looks like it's supposed to be there. This part here, underneath this white part here, the uh, SD extender or, or whatever, you first plug that in on the other side, and there's two screws that allow you to mount the cable in. There's one screw on this side and one screw on this side from the inside. So the first thing that you do is, is you put this, this white piece together. This, you put the SD extender into this piece. The button is going to be separate as well. So the button has to always be underneath this plastic thing because it's going to be ready for the board. So the, but the first thing you're going you're gonna to do is connect the cable. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to mount this to the actual board. There's two screws. There's one right over here on this side it's uh, I can't see where the hole is actually but it's right over here actually so where this where this is connected to the board you can see through this clear thing here this clear piece right here you can see where it's connected to the board the screw is right here so first you're gonna you're gonna assemble this with the board on the other side so you're not putting this in. This is going to be your last step here. Your first step is to connect this to this and connect the cable to this. So first you're connecting the cable to this. Second you're connecting this to this. And then last you're going to use the spacer to connect this to the actual system itself. But you have to make sure the cable is tucked under properly. So I have the cable tucked in so it, it, it doesn't so this thing doesn't fold over it because before I had the cable right underneath and this thing was like cutting off the circulation of the cable you don't want that and I also forgot to put the button in there so you want to make sure you have this button so this is a reset button you got to make sure that it, it's over that part of the board so when you press it it actually works so everything is put together now my only concern is, is fitting the top part back on I suppose we can try that right now and just see if it'll work. But it is together for the time being. This is the most complete that it is. I actually just cleaned this part of the uh, case because as you can see, it's pretty dirty. I only cleaned the top part. It seems to be dry for the most part. There's this little styrofoam piece. It does feel a little bit wet still, but it's dry for the most part. Let me just make sure it fits. So I think I think we got it here. 
If not, we're gonna have to play around with these screws and make it work again. Yeah, it looks like it's a little off, I don't know. We're close, we're close. I think maybe the case um, will close in the back. Maybe if I move around the screws a little bit. I think I got it, I don't know. The case is hanging off in the back. So the first thing that we want to do, there's some dirt here too that I'm gonna clean. I just wanna see if it fits together. Really don't know. Oh, so it sort of clicks. Okay. Yeah, it works, I guess. The only thing is, and plus, we didn't get to test it yet, so we don't even know if it works. So the right side is on there. This left side, I might have to. Yeah, well, I don't like that. I might have to uh, move around the screws a little bit to get it to fit. I think I got it. I guess if I sort of close the case like this diagonally, but it doesn't really close properly. I have to move around the screw to make it fit. So that's the difficulty you're going to run into with these clone boards. Um, before I put this thing together, I'm going to clean this thing up a little bit more because now the top half is clean and the bottom half is dirty. Um, and the front part went on, it looks like. So yeah, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And I think I have to move around the screw so I can get the case to close properly because it doesn't exactly fit all the way. But we got it for the most part. I guess... In theory, if I put the screws on it like this, if I just sort of... But I'm pushing down on the board, that's what, that's what I, don't I don't like. So I'm going to have to tinker around with it, but... But yeah, we got it for the most part. And there's a little hole there too. So. But hopefully this, this video will help somebody out. Because uh, there's no instructions with this thing. It was, it was difficult to figure out how to, how to make this happen. Because it didn't come with any 3D, 3D boards. Only with these screws that you see here. But, uh, so we didn't use the pod or anything. Um, but, uh. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Today's my day off from work, or I actually worked for two hours today, so I took a partial day off. But uh, I hope you all enjoy this video, and like I said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right?